Welcome to Conscious Volitional Attention. And that's what we have that these guys don't now they've just uh, crashed everything. So hang on. Yeah, you're naughty. So the fourth binding functional process that you have as a human that brings together first ingredient, what do you want? What are you doing about it? Your structure, correct presence practice, the journey through awakening, the structure of your habit machine, your personality device. <laughs> which is proven by the evidence in life and there's huge amounts of chaos happening here right now is your volitional attention so this video is on that and uh, I've got animals around me I've got people watching and the police helicopter has been doing circles obviously chasing someone so plenty of chaos now your capacity to hold your conscious volitional attention and your alignment in life with your 3D time device identity mechanism is your capacity to hold your volitional attention. This is the biggie. And when you understand that concept and start applying it to where you say you want it, what do you want, what you're doing about it, ingredient one, right? And to your current habit now the question is is it a good habit i.e correct presence practice so you're aligned <laughs> right is where you will start to see the results so as a few birds leave this is good so we'll have less chaos but that's part of the fun with the parrots they live law zero they live instant reactions. I'm sure we'll have a state change or two during this video, as is usually the case. Hey darling, hey? <laughs> Never filled with babies or animals. Never ever ever film with wild animals. Because it's chaotic and you may catch magic. And if you haven't got the record button, the sound, the whatever, you know, you might lose it. So where is your volitional attention now? Can you be aware of your tummy as you watch this? Can you be aware of your legs, your hands? And as you feel into your tummy, what sort of emotions and other things are rummaging around in there? Allowing everything to be as it is, and that's as vague as we get. Yep, crap's going on. Awesome. Be aware of your bum, your hands, and your inner body, which includes your thoughts, your feelings, your frustrations, your desire to force it with your head, and feel your backside again. Ow! <laughs> Yay! Bull ant bite! So yeah, got pain in my foot happening now. There's very few animals I don't like, bull ants and march flies. I mean, I'm okay with being leached and chasing scorpions off the campsite, but um, bull ants are really quite unpleasant. So, <laughs> more fun, more evidence. Oh, here comes the police helicopter. And this is what your task is, is with your volitional attention, bring it back. <laughs> and back, and back, and back. Regardless of the noise, the pain, the disruptions, oh dear. So this is the test. Can I do this video talking about volitional attention and demonstrate it? The parrots are throwing my gear around. The police helicopter's just been back again. <laughs> uh, there's too many birds here. Coming up. You gonna come up? Good bird. Alright, so I'm aware of my tummy. I'm aware of my space. Step three, the presence. Yep. The divine. Yep. 
is my pillar 5 unconscious mind, my habit device here. Yep, it's feeling pretty joyful and happy. I got my feathered buddies here. Hey darlings. And with your volitional attention that you have. These guys don't. Who are you darling? Who's this? Is this Mr. Jumpy? No. Don't know who you are. You're relatively friendly though. His, his feet are a bit, bit sharp. The spur's going to have a crack at my phone in a minute, I bet. Just wait. Yep. Off. <laughs> Notice he didn't squawk. Hey? Come on. Coming back. Oh, someone else beat you to it, buddy. So, your attention and your time are the only two variables you have full control over. Even if you're in solitary confinement in a jail cell and it's just all black. You have time, you have volition. And you would have a choice in that situation. Where do I choose to put it? Because it's used as a form of torture. <laughs> what would you do? Chaos Masters. Yeah! You're all very noisy! So when you're in extreme chaotic situations like I am right now, I'm really soaking into step one of the presence practice process. My body. Feeling the backside of my legs. Going into my inner body. Feeling down into the earth. So I'm in, I'm in peripheral vision. I saw that bird was going to try and land on my head. And then feel the sweetness of presence, the joy. And, and, the, and the divine, non-sparkling, sparkle, everything, nothing. The, the yum yum, as my inner child would call it. My unconscious mind has got very used to this process because I, I, I got serious. What did I want? I wanted to properly awaken. So I learned the structure, correct presence practice and all the drama that goes with it. Learning to get in my body. Learning to distinguish the nonsense from what's real. No. And I got on with it and noticed the changes in my life. Using, using my life as my ashram. Working in corporate accounts, accountancy practices and places like abattoirs. Great place to practice presence doing a manual job. Really is, regardless of the environment. And bringing that aliveness, that presence, that unconditional beingness to any environment. And that's really important. So some of you are going to have tougher jobs than others. Bring presence to it. Bring that vibration to help the collective, because our collective needs a lot of help. As do these guys, because we're killing the planet. 2019, 2020. Oh no, get off of there. The fires, and they're pretty good on the estimation in terms of wildlife density. 4 billion animals either had to get out of the way of fires that were travelling at 30 k's an hour or they got cooked alive. Species went extinct. Other species, their, their population has plummeted by 75% i.e. the squeaky door parrots that were in the other videos in the series on the front page here. Because we cooked their homes. And the babies that were sitting in the nests. Your responsibility is primarily to you and where you are placing your volitional attention. And if you do it correctly with the right structure, you can awaken. If that's what you want, just apply it. There's the feedback loop. Evidence. What do I want? 
I want to be awake. Therefore I apply my attention into the structures that will awaken me. Which I've discussed in the other videos and the Nine Pillar Framework and the courses and the coaching and the Mastery Club are all about. <laughs> and as you keep... State change. Okay. Okay. Nice little crusty. Hey. Eh? No, it's okay. The noisy miners are calling, and it's freaking them out. Most of them are left, although they'll come back. What do you do when crap goes down? Presents? As the habit builds, that's what exactly what happens. Especially in the non-abiding phase, during the fiery emotions as well as the, the soft, wet ones, you know, the sadness and the grief. As well as fear. This is, this will happen. Get rid of the myths, clear out the nonsense. Do what works. La large quantities of this are covered in the Laws of Grace course. Got a whole section to busting myths and how to form the habit and what are the incorrect habits and how to realign them all. You coming across? No, you are. Sharp feet. Is that you, Mr. Jumpy? I can tell the way you're hunching your head. Yeah, Mr. Jumpy. He's got sharp claws at the moment. I don't want to bleed, buddy. So, back, back, back. Check the steps. You get faster and faster as you wear the habit in, eh? It literally is like scratching in a groove until it becomes a chasm, until it becomes a grand canyon, and then it's your default of your unconscious mind, pillar five. That's called abiding presence. It becomes a priori. And it's a shock. It's a big shock. And if you get lazy, the unconscious mind will allow those bad habits to come back until you really just keep dragging it in. It never stops, eh? There's always this moment, and this moment I need to check with my volitional attention if I am here. And it's valid. It's validated. Ching, ching, ching. You'll check the steps faster than that. Ching, ching, ching. Or you can dwell at each step. So I feel my backside, I'm feeling into the ground. I can just feel myself totally sinking in. Which just further, further confirms everything I've recorded for the Laws of Grace, because then I, I've literally spent the next two years testing it. Out pop the nine pillar framework. And now this four ingredient thing, the three ingredients, what do you want, what you're doing about it, your structure, the evidence and your volitional attention. If I make it any more simple than that and just do what Nizagadada Maharaj called it, earnestness, it kind of misses a whole lot and it's too vague. Vague is the enemy. <laughs> They're knocking my stuff off the bench. As I hold the space and let them be themselves and try and protect my gear and talk to you at the same time. Hey darlings. But while these guys have their own personality and, and each bird has its own range of behaviours which may be different to the other birds of the same species, they don't really have volition. Did you notice how they all freaked out before and most of them buzzed off and the others just went and actually bothered to look. <laughs> As they try and get into my bag. No, we don't do that. Training these guys to be nice and friendly and not bite is exactly what I did to myself. Practice, practice, practice. So as far as Chaos Masters go, these ones these ones are quite a nice wee flock. They're quite friendly. I don't bleed very often and when I show other people like I did at the start of this video when I gave some people some seed, the birds were okay with them because they were then associated with me. 
Who's this? Me? Is that you, Patience? It probably is, isn't it, darling? <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> How are you handling the cows? Just having a finger bitten. This bird doesn't quite know the rules. <laughs> and your habit machine, your unconscious mind, your ego, you can retrain it to be okay with crappy stuff when it's happening, being okay with good stuff when it's happening, and you're using your volitional tension and coming back here, 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 to be here, to be present. And these guys feel it. Don't bite, my friend. What are you doing up there, bud? Eh? So my presence goes through these animals, eh? The joy is just amazing. Hey darling. Hey. You better have a cuddle. Who's this? Who's this? Hey. Are you snuggles or are you patience? Hey. He's wild. Hey. But they learn if you're nice to them. See, the one on my shoulder came down because they've worked out I won't feed them up there. Otherwise they develop the bad habit of biting the ear. And that's just no fun. And I'm likely to be interrupted by humans. Ow. So what volitional attention does is it gives you the experience of that which you are placing your attention on. Because it's your attention that's inside your identity device, which is also your unconscious mind and your ego and everything that's you, where you stop and start until you go multi-dimensional or into the higher esoteric bodies where uh, the other dimensions come into play that don't have the boundaries as such. So you're, you're developing your attention, your focus, your capacity to be aligned with all of your systems so you can deal with being connected with the divine while you put up with life, in life, and everything it throws at you. Like, my wrist has just been quite savage in the last 15 minutes because of sharp claws. And I got a bull ant bite. The first one I've had in this park. Oh no. So that bird may have destroyed just about destroyed my microphone cable, so I'm gonna have to check it. <laughs> and that's why it's so important to be present correctly, because in your proof of vision you can see if it's gonna happen a second time in the space of two minutes. <laughs> hey? No. So re-watch these five videos and then check out the Nine Pillar Framework, the Levels of Awakening and, and get, take yourself through that process with, with, with these front videos in order. What do you want? What are you doing about it? The Structure of Alignment, Understanding Correct Presence Process, the Nine Pillars, no, no. So understanding very, very clearly what you're after. So you're not chasing something you don't really want. That way you're not kidding yourself. Then understand ingredient two, your structure, how to be correctly present. 
and those aspects in the nine pillar framework they'll point out where you know you've got blind spots or there's things that you need to develop all of these things take development eh? law zero doesn't ever stop i'm still doing it am i lying to myself wow that's just a fantastic question because you can always get more nuanced and clear and and uh mastered of this mastered <laughs> you can always develop your mastery of this process and the nuances in it that I'm aware of I mean I've been abiding since the start of 2008 and it's still deepening I mean it's just amazing And then there's the courses to, you know, they're, they're practice sessions to help you develop the habit. You, you get an idea of what the inside of your head needs to sound like. Am I here? Check the steps. <laughs> in life, in the supermarket, in the tram, around chaotic things, who are behaving a bit more calm now, which is good. If my microphone cable is still working. <laughs> The other video on this topic I did in winter last year and it is just filled with grace with the animals. I had long bill corellas. I had the little corellas landing on me. It's just magic. Grace, grace, grace and more grace. So watch that one. Let's see if you can stay focused and practice as it happens. Oh, look, here's a little Corella. You gonna stick your little head in? Hey? Oh, sweetie. You've been indulging in those mulberries, haven't you? <laughs> they know when you're talking to them. He's freaked out. <laughs> Come on, sweet. Come on. He's too chicken to come over. He looks absolutely filthy. So this three ingredient structure with volitional attention demonstrates that while non-duality, yes there is no two, I'm connected with all of this stuff including these guys that are wild. Hey, here you go buddy. <laughs> is that you Patience? I think it is. I can always tell. All right. Your volitional attention means there is a doer. Yes, there is no two. We are connected if you're aligned. If you are properly aligned, there is only the one, the nothing, the everything, right through to stage four, deeply abiding presence. That's cycle one of the enlightenment process. The second cycle was transpersonal, then it's you and others, and that's where your boundary device is really useful to know whose thoughts what, whose emotions are what. That really tests your ego because it's a lot more difficult to discern who's who and what's what, which is what the ego is. Knowing that and being okay with the nothingness, the noumenon, the divinity non-sparkling sparkle is, is, is actually pretty easy in comparison to transpersonal. However, abiding presence is doable yeah, for everyone if they want it and they're gonna volition it earnest as Nizagat Ada said earnest you probably said it in a more fiery fashion than that I mean I can get fiery but you know he was a firecracker that man yeah eh? he didn't have cute little parrots to play with did he eh? <laughs> not that you're little Rewatch these videos, test it, and make contact if you want coaching or if you want to check out and try the courses. Get specific. <laughs> Learn the habits that work. So in an hour's time, 
check back in. How many times have I been present? And check the four steps. Well, check the first three. God decides if you get the fourth one and for how long until you stabilise it through correct presence practice with lots of volition being applied. <sighs> My parrots are terrorising some other people. <laughs> it's great to share this. If more of us love nature, we would probably help save this planet a bit faster. Hence the Whispering 101 course at whispering.com. Okay, darlings. What was that all about? Eh? Oh, don't land on my head. Anyone coming across? Who's this? Eh? So the snuggles or patience, eh? Eh? Because you're not Mr. Jumpy, because you're not jumping, are you, darling? Eh? No, you're not. Just a little warning, he doesn't bite hard. He's just saying, don't do that, I want to eat. And then at other times, they'll just be really calm. I mean, they're quite peaceful at the moment. The numbers are growing. There's enough here, but they're just in a mellow mood. Unlike the mayhem beforehand, which was top class crazy. You got Miss Brown on me. She's one of my favourite birds. Aren't you, hun? Hey? Eh? You're a gorgeous girl. And the more you've honed the habit of your correct presence practice, checking in with your law zero, your self-honesty, self-responsibility, you can handle chaos. And then when things are more peaceful, or when the little corallas on the bench, come on, sweet. And he's still too chicken. See a little corella? How you doing, sweet? Hey, Miss Brown, careful. Oh, he's too chicken to come to my hand. And so once you've trained your attention, your alignment, you can stay with your inner body and your presence and the divine, if the divine's hanging around. You don't choose that one, eh? Until you really do get into phase four, mature abidance where it really settles. And then when things are more peaceful, it just brings another layer of... ...richness. So there's the little Corella nearly coming across. We've got Longbill here. Impatience is wanting to claim my hand, aren't you, buddy? Hey, You're going to get grumpy at the Longbill. Hey? And that's what your volitional attention will do. You can allow it to... <laughs> ...be here with it. Because it is, man. Tummy. Feel your bum. Notice all of the spaces throughout your body. Feet, hands pelvis, pelvic floor, give it a squeeze, hello, hear the squawking youngster, it's a good thing to hear because we cut down all their breeding trees, eh, so there's not very many of them this year, because we just think we can take, 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 and how do you give, you be here, you be present, and you can make smart choices that support you, and beautiful things being here in 500 years time. You gonna come across honey? Eh? So it's all about encouragement. Talking to your unconscious mind, your habit machine nicely, like it's your five year old best friend. That's how you encourage the deeper aspects of you your habit machine, your identity device to come into alignment 
no different to working with nature or a young five-year-old. Oh, you're a guts. Come on, little crawler. You gonna come across? So that's that little one there with the blue eye without the red on his tummy. This is the long bill corella. And that noisy little thing is a baby long bill corella. Come up. Now it's about being patient and just doing the practice as much as you can, as often as you can, as frequently as you can. What do you want? What are you doing about it? Check the evidence. How's my body? How's my inner body? How's my presence, that bigger allowingness, energetic, spacey, bubbly thing that's just allowing everything to be good, bad, ugly, ego, no ego, resistance, excuses, the desire to slacken off and give up, just stick at it. It's mathematical. You're reopening your neurology and realigning your psychology to how you were when you were in the womb and up until when you, you did form your ego between ages four to seven to eight, depending. And you shut it all down. <laughs> oh, beautiful biffo. Yeah. Take the finger, finger, take the seed, not me finger. Those little corella, he's eating it in my hand. They got beaks that just by their design, very, very good at making holes. Better than the cockatoos. And now he's having a scrap. If he has a go at my hand, he's likely to put a hole in me because he's full of adrenaline from his fight flight. Let's uh, show the cockatoo who's twice my body weight, who's the boss. No. Stay change and two birds to stay. Hey, hey, hey. Choose conscious volitional attention. Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. See this guy, he's focused. So he's getting the reward. That's what happens to you when you apply your attention through choice because it's what you want. Come on, sweet. Yeah, there you go. It's not that hard, is it? <laughs> we are habit machines. Cockatoos are easy to read. Animals are easy, well, once you know them enough. They're easier to read in terms of what they're doing and what they're thinking of doing. But as you take yourself through this process using those three ingredients, what do you want, what you're doing, so you apply the structure, the evidence, and you keep doing those three things, structure, attention, evidence of the attention. Hello, beautiful Christy. Then that evidence builds up, builds the habit, and you get used to it, your ego gets used to it, becomes part of you, becomes automatic. It's so simple. Yeah, it's, if it was super duper easy, everybody would be enlightened but it requires these ingredients and the nine pillar framework spells it out a lot more. The toughy, law zero, self-honesty, self-responsibility, oh. and the resistance that people put up to just being self-honest even when they're blatantly not doing things right.
Everybody likes to claim they're enlightened. Show me the evidence. Ingredient 3, pillar 3. And each of the phases take a couple of years to get through unless you do something extraordinary. I mean, I, I basically skipped right through phase 5, got it, lost it, transpersonal, because I went and hung out with Sri Shaktiyamanarayani, who is, you know, a divine embodiment of Cosmic Mother Narayani, the cosmic goddess that holds this universe and 15 others. And Lakshmi came home with me. I was inside of her for nine months, blazed out in the transpersonal golden super yum. <laughs> Until I had to go back to the corporate world and have to shut it all down and face the tests. Wow, did I face the tests or what? The GM for the department was a serial bully. But man, everybody's terrified of him. What a monster. Hey darlings, hey? Ask you again, where's your attention right now? How's your presence been during this video? Did you cope with all that mayhem? It was pretty full on. And I got a bull ant bite. I've been coming here for two years, I've never had a bull ant bite. I can feel my foot, I can feel where it's bitten me. And that was an hour and a half ago. Supporters here if you want it. Having an external reflection that can give you specific feedback on this process is, is really, really helpful. As is community, mastery club. No, it's just divine. I feel so lovely, I just want to sit here and not say anything and just enjoy my feathered buddies. After my 16 nights in the bush. There you go, Miss Brown. This, this thing of it taking lifetimes or decades up to you if you want to have this habit of being here, being correctly present because then you have the real evidence if you want it with precision. So you know because that's your experience that you write in your success journal every night. Wow, I do my stack at summon and I held my presence. The next five times you might not, because you're still building the habit. You'll still be a human, eh? Your, your identity mechanism, your unconscious mind, your ego, doesn't die until this bag of meat dies. Then you do take your presence and your learned and earned wisdom with you. Oh, you, you might. Go on. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Do you want to come across? Do you want to come across to this place where it's always here? Faster than you can think, is it here? Yeah, it's already here. This is true. When I mean, it's become the default and your neurology's burnt in. Yeah, you want to? Oh, oh he's a seeker. Oh, you got it. <laughs> He wants to cheat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, just walk away and give up. That's not going to help, is it? They just so reflect us, eh? Just pure honesty. Now you're going to do it, eh? You nearly did before. You, you, you're not that long, mate, you know. Oh, they're, they're just so funny. Yeah, come on, it's yours. Watch this. Oh, look at that. That's three Big Macs and an extra large Coke there. 
Actually, it's cockatoo chocolate is what it is. Isn't it? Come and get your cockatoo chocolate. Yeah. Well, there's no point fighting him. Just jump across and it's all yours. Yeah. Oh, Miss Brown, you're all cute when you fluff up like that. Can't help myself, can I, honey? You coming across this time? This guy's representing the ego really nicely at the moment. It's all those excuses. <coughs> Let's make some noise. Let's blame someone else. <coughs> there's no doer. What do you mean there's no doer? Of course there is. You have to apply your attention. No. What? Oh, let's look cute. Don't know if you saw that. Hey, don't chase Miss Brown around. Yeah. There you go, Miss Brown. <laughs> there she is. Why don't you come across, honey? Eh? Go on. Look at her. Isn't she sweet? Come on, Miss Brown. Come down. That wasn't quite the down I was talking about, but that's probably close enough. There you go. Thinking about it. Do I really want this? Mm, maybe. Nearly. Nearly. Oh, he did it! Good bird. <laughs> and when your unconscious mind flips over, and the default habit is to slide into presence, and then to consciously check, that never stops. It just it becomes easy. As easy as volitional intention <laughs> ingredient for. Is that what we are, Miss Brown? Are we just volitional attention? Hey? Eh? You're doing the cutesy poi on me, aren't you? You've done that to me ever since I met you, and you know what effect it has on me, doesn't it, eh? Because you're just too gorgeous. It's worth the effort. Ow. Hey! Ready, watch these videos. Make contact if you have a question. Coaching and the courses will really demonstrate and pull you in to activate the habit. And all the courses come with at least one hour coaching so you can get feedback. Hey Miss Brown, can't careful. Getting good quality one-on-one -on -one feedback is really challenging. Because there isn't much of it out there. That's why this approach is so unique. Cuts out the fluff. There's no excuses now. Your eyes have been opened. Don't go back to sleep. The old famous roomy poem. Don't go back to sleep. So I'll see you in the next video. Or hear from you. I'm Jason at AwakenedEssence.com Hey. Oh, beautiful Christy. Is that you, Popeye? Eh? I think it is. Yep.